Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Malaya, back with another video. So as you guys see in my previous video, my car was giving me a little hiccups, which, um, which I could solve the problem and I was really happy. And at the end of the video, if you watched it till the end, I showed you guys what I wanted to install. So um, today I'm gonna be installing the Flex Fuel. I got it from Protuning Freaks. I love this company. I've been with them for like, hmm, four years. Uh, so I got the Flex Fuel from them. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically will help you. Here's the wires. It's gonna be basically helping you to count uh, how much ethanol you have in your car or if you wanna mix the 93 with E. So this is not that you must have, but it's just a good to have because you don't gotta do the math in your head. Well, definitely, I don't want to do that because my math is paralyzed. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. Period. So, I'm installing this, but I will only use it in summer times. Like, if I'm going to go for races, so on and so forth. Like, so on and so forth. And uh, I watched a couple of videos um, how to install the flex fuel. It's not a big deal, but I want to see uh, what I can do. A lot of people are going to the shops to install it. I just decided to do it myself because I love to work on my car. So I, I think it's easy. I, don't, I, I didn't see anything like anything hard about of installation. So, so people saying it's going to take me about like two hours to install, which I highly doubt. I will definitely tell you how long it took me, but I think... All you have to do is uh, take out your back seats, a couple of um, panels, connect it, and you're good to go. So let's get started. <laughs> and no, I can't wait until summer or when it's gonna be warmer to start working on my car because, because I want it now. And it's the middle of the night, so. Here you go, you see the sensors? So that's why you don't want to pull your back seats because of those wires. So be very careful not to pull it. I'm really doing my best to show you guys. So if you have a pink seat, you're going to have this wire connected to it. Just press it over here. It's, in. it's gonna come up. Now you get to go to take out the seat. <clears throat> All right. Step one. Out. I'm gonna put it right here. So step two, we're gonna uh, take this panel out. Oh, oh my God. Damn. All right. For you, it's gonna be way easier because you're a man and I don't got so much power like you, so. All right, that was easy. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. So here you would need a 10 mil and we're gonna unscrew those five bolts. All right. 
go. All right, so I looked what's going on in there, and I decided to <laughs> put the gloves on. All right. So we're going to disconnect this wire, the blue one. We're going to press. Yeah. Why everything is so, <laughs> so hard to disconnect? God damn it. I'm getting frustrated right now. And when usually when I'm getting mad, I can disconnect shit, all right? I don't know how it works, but as soon as I get frustrated, I get the power. <laughs> More power. Okay, so what I've been told is that that we have to disconnect the wire. Then we're gonna open the gas tank. By the way, check it out. My cover is so beautiful. Golden Ranch, guys, if you want it, I'm gonna leave the link below. So apparently we have to turn on the car, wait for the car to die out. Okay. I have a lot of things going on in here. So I'm trying to reach the brake. All right. I got a shit in my pants, I swear to God. So here's the wire that we're gonna disconnect. And um, here's a little clip that I pressed on. Oh, wow, that was easy. I just pressed over here and pull it out, that's it. That was the most easiest wire in my life. Okay. Next, we're gonna disconnect this part. And we're gonna connect our beauty. Look how beautiful it is. Mama mia. I figured something out. So I was on the other side. For some reason, it wasn't coming out. But if you're gonna be standing by the door and you're gonna try to unplug it, it will unplug in a second. Look. This is must have to cover this part. You don't want the gasoline to be there. So from this side, if you're gonna be standing here and you're gonna press the button. Whoa, it got it on my face, my lips and my nose. She squirted, God damn. <coughs> Whoa. That's a lot of gas, man. You wanna protect this at any cost? I'm gonna try it again. Okay. God damn. All right, girl, take it easy. Take it easy. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That was a lot of gas wasted. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it's gonna fit. We're gonna remove the old one. I'm gonna put it in this hole. Okay, this fits perfectly. I'm checking on it, it's not coming out. <sighs> right now, I gotta fit this part somehow into here. <laughs> All I did is just, I pushed till the end and I locked it in. That's it. Not going nowhere. 
I like to check, I like to pull on it for both sides. Just to check. It sits. Now we need a blade. We're gonna take this piece out, just simply pull it out. Alright, I already started doing it over here. So we're gonna cut a little more. Let's move on, guys. So I didn't know where to put this part of the flex fuel. So I put the 3M, and I'll probably I'll probably attach it somewhere like over there, like somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, this is the most easiest part out of everything. So you're just gonna take this panel and pull it up. The pin's gonna stay here. Don't you worry about that. You're gonna take, uh, take care of it later. So to remove this panel, you would need to have 10 mil. And over here, you will find the bolts that you gotta unscrew. So as soon as you're gonna get rid of this, the panel will come out. If you don't know how to unscrew and take this part off, I have a video when I was changing my air filter. I explained there everything, so just watch it. This piece is out. It was two screws of 10 mil. The wire you disconnect just by pulling out. That's it. You can just grab the wire and just pull it out. This is out. Here you go. Yes. Yes, we're almost done, guys. I need 10 minutes and we're out. We're just gonna plug in the bad boy and we're good to go. Hard to record from this angle, but I hope you guys are gonna see everything. So we're gonna unplug this first wire so we're gonna press over here you're gonna see the little part and then we're gonna pull it up and it's gonna just come out by itself that's it that's it thank you so much bmw for at least making this part easy to take out that's it this piece is out I don't know why mine gotta be so complicated. But we got it out. So having a tool to push from this little hole, the black part of these wires is extremely helpful. Okay, so it's time to connect the wires. I'm gonna be install uh, I'm gonna be connecting this way so the yellow wires with the green is going to be on the left side and uh, here we'll go with the purple blue red brown so I'm gonna connect them like this the worst case what could happen if I'm not, if I'm not gonna connect it in a correct way my just windshield gonna go crazy and that's it okay all right see this little thingy here sticking out like a little nipple we have it here a little hole for that so let me try we're gonna slide inside easy, baby. Oh, damn those wires are so thick holy shit Mm-hmm. Alright. We're almost done. Come on. 
I really hope I did it right. Just gotta push a little more. Yep, we're in. Alright guys, so I'm um, done here. I literally showed you step by step everything you need to know, what you need to do, and um, some uh, little hacks, what to use to open it faster. So what I did is uh, we're going to start the car to check uh, the leaks. We Don't forget to plug the wire back. And... Uh, I really hope I connected everything correctly. Otherwise, worst case scenario, my windshield is gonna go crazy, but oh, let me just start up the car and <laughs> shall see if I did it right. pretty much done my windshield didn't go crazy so we connect everything in the right way and I showed you a little hacks what you what tool you can use to pull out that black wire so as you could see that there, there was no leaks in the flex fuel and my car started in like a weird way it was like a little crazy sound because there was like no fuel in the line. So it's totally normal for your car to act like this way. So otherwise I'm so happy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be running here and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really like making, uh, making myself ready for that race that is gonna be on the March 24th, I believe. That's a New Jersey Beamer, Beamer United, the Keys Motorsport, they combining together and they're like, throwing a huge meet so I'm looking forward to race there and if you guys didn't know about the meet you can go uh, on my page Malaya30 on Instagram and I have a flyer there you can use my promo code Malaya it will save you a lot of money thank you so much for 600 followers on YouTube it means so much to me it's like it's crazy number for YouTube and uh, thank you so much for support thank you so much for watching my videos I'm doing my best to explain what I do to my car, what I install it, I don't hide anything, you guys know me, like, you know how much horsepower in this car, how I installed it, where I installed it, I just found it around the garage to install the flex fuel, but I really appreciate it um, to, to each and everyone for the support, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Come back for more, stay tuned. I have another part coming up, so I'm gonna be installing that too, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces! <laughs>